Hello, my name is Rusty. Have you had a good day? Amen. If not, still seek God, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for today, that we can come to you and seek you and have time with you. I pray, Lord, that our hearts would be open to learn every single day about who you are. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, this is our previous Bible trivia question. Did you find the answer? This woman married Moses. Who? Her name was Zipporah. Did you get the right answer? That's exciting. Okay. Not disappointed. Not disappointed. Sometimes I can get disappointed. But that's what Satan wants for us. To be disappointed. To, to feel dismayed about things. But that's not good. Let's look at our verse. Proverbs. Chapter 23, verses 17 and 18. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end. And thine expectation shall not be cut off. So what does that mean? God is letting us know that we need to remember one day we'll be with him. This earth is temporary. And sometimes Christians, we can get disappointed or upset about things. But remember, it's not about our plans. It's about God's plans. And just to let you know, his plans are better than yours and better than mine. I want all the things from him. So don't be disappointed. Really, try not to be. Because disappointment can hurt your spirit. It hurts me when I expect the answer that I was going to get and I didn't get it. Or maybe I was expecting a raise or a promotion and I didn't get it. Or maybe you're not having a lot of friends or there's different things happening in your life and you can be disappointed. I... Think about Joseph. When I look at that story, he, was he disappointed with his father? Remember, he was captured and sent into slavery when he was 17 years old. Was he mad at God? No. He stayed quiet and he moved on with his life. And God used him in wonderful ways. And then later, he met his father again and had time with him until the end of his life. And I'm sure, sure Joseph, I'm sure his dad, they're in heaven now. They haven't been cut off, but there is an end and we'll go to heaven. When this life is finished, it'll be no more. You have to remember that we can't understand all of God's plans. And if something happens, you just have to go through it. Just like David. For three years, he had to hide because King Saul was trying to kill him. What did David do? He waited for God's timing. And sometimes it's happened to me too. I think, okay, okay, I have to be calm and wait and not depend on my flesh. You can't let your flesh control you. For you and I, we need to focus on God and remember that he's in control of everything. Even when I don't understand, I follow him. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we know that it's difficult. Really, Lord, you're so patient with us. It doesn't matter. Sometimes we get disappointed or not if we don't get what we want. But you know, and we need to remember that 
We have to go through these things until the end. And one day we're going to live with you forever. We look forward to your blessings from you, God. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So now Bible trivia. Is this a hard one? This woman, Tempton Samson, Samson had long hair. He was really strong, big muscles. She tempted him. He had massive muscles, but she tempted him. It was a gift from God and he didn't realize it. To reveal the secret to his massive strength, which she used to betray him to the Philistines. This is a very interesting story. She manipulated him. Do you know who manipulated Samson? Go ahead and find out. And remember, God will always be with you wherever you go. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.